the unit comes with a, a thumb drive that has the software installed and when we put that on our, uh, on our computer, this is our startup screen, the classic toolbar. And here is my uh, work section where we can uh, point out and get to certain models that we've already, uh, for example, have online. In this particular case, I'm going to go to a Pell network. And these are several Pells that are out in the field that we're working with already. These are live uh, installations. And I can go to this particular one under Normandy, which is Normandy, France. This one here. And I can look at the recorded session. Now this gives us the basic setup that we have installed in our uh, Pell. It tells us some uh, fixed status. However, I can go in and then I can look at a recording session. I can go real time. In this case, we're going to hook up real time. And we can see it's very dynamic. It's changing on a one second rate, the voltages, the amperages, and things like this. So I am presently going through the internet, looking at Normandy, France, from here in Boston, Mass. This proves the dynamic uh, capability of this device, where I can talk to multiple units. I could have any number of units down here, click on them and review with them, either while they're recording, or I can download a recording session, okay? As I can with the Bluetooth and taking out the SD card and what have you. Now, if I want to look at a recording session, this is some previous recording sessions that are uh, logged in, and I can bring uh, any one of these up. It tells us what, it, what the circuit was, and here are the, the recorded values. I can get a summary, and I actually will get graphs of the values of all of the parameters that I was monitoring. At one second, here I have some dynamic uh, trace information, and I have session totals. So it'll tell me what my KWH was, and here's where I can tell where my final consumption was. It tells me where I was and the location and, and the file name of the device that I used. I have an event log, and this tells me if we dip below certain parameters. So I have a recording of brownouts and outages and things like this. I have an event log. Session totals. Here I can again tell what my total consumption was over the recording session. And here's my measurements. I can go in and look at the, the various uh, engineering units over time and how they uh, uh, changed and how dynamic they were. <clears throat> Measures RMS voltages and currents 128 times per second. And we have a, a sample rate once every second. And that's our basis for our information. And from that we can do the 15 minute intervals, the classic uh, uh, utility intervals out to 60 minutes. It measures VA hours, watt hours, VAR hours, and total phase per uh, second and source load indication. It allows us to measure VAR, uh, VA hours, watt hours, VAR hours, and energy values both total and per phase at a one second rate and we can also tell it whether it's source versus load. Uh, it calculates the cosine of theta, so we do know the offset for uh, inductive loads and also that's important for when you're doing displacement power factor. It can do, of course, regular power factor. It can do total harmonic distortion, again, out to the 50th harmonic. And we can measure DC. So this can also measure DC voltage, DC current, and it can resolve DC power. It also functions at 400 hertz. So now, for the first time, we can monitor military-grade devices, which often shipboard and airborne use 400 hertz. So we can measure that and actually calculate power uh, values with that. We can display the measurements on the PAL 103 real-time, as we see here. We can record it to our SD card, download via our three methods, and we have automatic recognition. It can tell which one of the current sensors we pick, whether it's the the uh, smaller Amplex up to the much larger Amplex. Okay. This one comes with the package. The other ones are optional at extra cost. Now the DataView software, very powerful, works with all of our products and can be used in multiple computers so data can be transferred over distances without any licensing uh, requirements or anything like that. And then we have the values again presented on the computer screen. And the Bluetooth can be transmitted through an EMA 12 enclosure door out to 35 and 40 feet. 
Free air can go out over 100 feet. So out in plants, it can actually go 300 feet. It's versatile communications. Again, we talked about USB, Ethernet, and Bluetooth. Well, thank you very much for your valuable time.